Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Jabi and Chris Singleton with you. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started, getting the nod in this one, Zach Wheeler. And Cindy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with it seems like there's more pressure. Now he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and we're underway. First pitch, 6 5 Oh, and two now. Ball one there. One and two. That misses. It's two and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. And the two-two. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played, but a slider in the 90s still catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch, good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. John Nagowski, the next to hit. Three for nine of the series coming in. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he there. swings through it. Riding to the plate. Way high. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. And down on strikes he goes. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Ronald Acuna Jr. swings through one there. Next pitch is downstairs. Next one misses, and it's two and one. The pitch. That misses, and that's ball three. The pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. So two down. Now in for the Braves. Austin Riley. 
And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Another ball, good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next offering is in for a strike. Wheeler with a throw over. Acuna dives back in. the count two and one and it's found away offering his foul back. He's Two going, outs. He's going, he's A cookie going. runs. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Castellanos whips it back in as he's held up and forced to stop at third. Love how he let that ball travel. He trusted his hands. Nice job of going out of the way. Duvall. Adam Duvall at the play. On the ground to the left. Fires over to Hoskins. And that is that. Two left for Atlanta. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. of the first and on the hill the lefty Max Freed singing he's kind of a road warrior yeah I definitely say so you know some guys shrink a little bit on the road they're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them but this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment so when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes you definitely like your chances away from your home ball park. we go to the bottom of the first here's a speed threat brandon jordan there's a strike Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. That one to first. Nagowski takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Batting second. And time now for the Phillies lineup. One thing these guys do very well is stay out of the double play. They've hit into the fewest of any team in the league, Chris. But, but we don't see situational hitting as that art as much as we used to because guys are slugging the ball, they're hitting over the fence. But when you see a team that has the ability to shorten up, hit behind runners, and go first to third or first to home, man, that just adds to the element of what you're able to do in other ways with the bat. So opposing pitcher better not walk anybody or give them free base runners because these guys know what to do when men are on. One of my favorite stats all time, 1997, the Hall of Famer Craig Biggio played in all 162 games for the Astros on Astro turf, and he never hit into a double play. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. The 0-2. That one missed. The one-two. 
Harper. Tries to check his swing. Now will look to third. And ring him up, says Carl Dixon. That's a strikeout. Now the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Yeah. Two for eight in the series so oh, far. Yeah. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's off the mark. Two balls, no strikes. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And now the lefty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three. Got him looking. That's the third out. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Scoreless after one. All set for the start of the inning. Dansby Swanson stands in. Leading off to the break, the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. The wind and the pitch. Ball and one. that one missing low. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The 1-0. And that's in for a strike. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Ball, Swing and a miss. Yeah. And a count, one and two. Singing what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. And now it's that Travis Darno at the plate. The 0 for 6 in the Travis series so far. Darno. And that one fouled off. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. No score here in the second. One down, base is empty. That ball, dude. I got to count two and two. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way. Gone. Travis Darnone hits one out. His 11th of the year, it's one nothing. So many times the sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Batting eight. The left fielder, number 20. Marcelo. And first offering is fouled off. Ball one. And 
And the righty deals. Check swing, and that's a ball. And it's even up. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. In the air, left field. Harper gets under it. Pulls it in for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. The designated hitter, Orlando Arcia. Two outs, bases empty. Here's Orlando Arcia. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. To third. And he grabs it in foul ground. Oh, and two now. And now one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Righty delivers. Stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Gene Segura. For the Phillies, the second baseman, Gene Segura. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. The next offering misses, and it's 2-0. The pitch. Hey. And there's a strike. Oh. A wide to kick the pitch. Sliced hard, but foul. Two two now, and this is inside. They all pitch. That's out to center field. Acuna there, and there's one down. Batting fifth, the right fielder, Nick. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. First offering misses badly for ball one. On the ground to third. Slings it across, and Castellanos is out. Batting six, the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Oh, 
Oh and the one. first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. The lefty, the one oh. Good eye oh, right there. Out. Two oh. That's ball three. Three and oh. Swings and fouls one off. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And a 3-1 on the way. And that one is lifted in the air. Swanson under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down one nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Moving off of the break, the second baseman, Ozzy Albee. Wheeler, back to work. And a good fastball to start him off oh, at strike one. one. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here comes a pitch. And now two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Bryant racing over to make the catch. Now batting the first baseman, John Nagowski. So now to the plate for Atlanta, John Nagowski. His first at bat was a strikeout. In there, and it's 0-1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Phillies fans want a strikeout. Lined, and that's a base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the, the at-bat after the being down in the count, up Ronald against it with Acuna two strikes right there. Junior. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Well struck left field, way back there. And out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. Home run number 20 on the year. It's 3-0. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So one out, nobody on. Here's Austin Riley. One for now one with a single so far. Season. Austin. And first offering is fouled off. 
on the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two down. Oh, I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. Two outs, base is empty. Adam Duvall next up for the Braves. And a foul ball. And he'll one. That's inside. Two down, nobody on. And that one hammered. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Adam Duvall hits one out. His 19th home run of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 4-0. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the lob, and gets the home run. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit now with it. four runs Good driven job. in on four Dansby. hits to this point in the series. Swanson. First offering misses the mark. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. He's a 1-1. One, one. Ball two. Count is two and one. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. is over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4-0 ball game. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Trevor Story. Leading off, he fills Billy. in striking distance, but shot. have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off, man. Get oh, a good really? at bat out of him right here. And a pitch. Hey. That's in there. That's strike one. And a pitch. Good eye right there. The one one. Now a screamer into the outfield. Can't get there. Base hit. Around first, heading for two. And he starts the bottom of the third with a double. So man aboard. And here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs.
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Smash to the left side. Riley fires the first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting nut, the center fielder, Simo. This is Simone Buziotti. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. At the belt and fires. Swing and a ball popped up. Albies makes the catch. And there's two away. The batter. The designated hitter. Brandon Jordan. So here's the Phillies DH. Brandon Jordan. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. One's in there, 0 and 1. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the if bat expands. Man on second, two down. There's the swing and a miss. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. The pitch. In the dirt. Tag safe. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Kicks and fires. A foul ball. He stays alive. A one, two. One hit to right. Duvall settles under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One left for Philadelphia. They trail it here, 4 nothing. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's got the catcher. pop which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. And the right hander back to work. Nope. Just Ball missed. Goes. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Right hander kicks deals. That's in for a strike. Next offering is downstairs. And here it comes. Fouls one off. Two and two. There's a ball. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Three balls, two strikes the count. And that's ball four. Did miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. Now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. Hole for one. He was robbed of a hit on a diving catch his first time up. In there for strike one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Zach Eflin getting ready to go. Rodon warming up as well. Tarno gets his lead at first with nobody out. Come on, 
Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. And he deals. Check swing, one went one. around, and the count one and two. Pitches outside. Kicks and deals. Foul ball there. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And there's one down. The batter, number nine, designated hitter, Orlando Arcia. Now, Orlando Arcia, hitless of the first two games of the series, he's 0 for 8. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering is foul back. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away down. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump. Yeah, that, one that lasts for piece. several games, even a week or more. Oh, you know, right now, he's really in one. So I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track. Back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Next to hit, Ozzy Albies. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now one and one. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Next offering is down low. The 2 1. And downstairs. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. And the right hander deals. And he walked him. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. First and second, two down. And here's the first baseman, John Nagowski. And he's already singled in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If he can get through this one, put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. The 
pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty to the plate. Next offering is outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the righty deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Third out. Two left for Atlanta. But they lead it four to nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Ready to go. Bottom four. Bryce Harper to the play. For the Phillies. No left fielder. Right. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next one is off the plate. One ball, one strike. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So digging in, Chris now Bryant Ryan. went Third down on eight. strikes his first time. Foul ball. Ball in one now. Hit on the ground to the right side. Nagowski oh. takes it himself. And a couple of quick outs. Oh, he's doing a nice Number job of keeping two. the ball out Second of the baseman. air. And lets the defense work Gee. behind him with another ground ball. Seth Good execution. Hurrah. Gene Segura at the plate here. Hit it well, but fly out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Acuna there. He's got it. And that is out number three. Phillies down in order. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. We go to the top of the fifth, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And the next pitch is way outside. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here.
The wind of the pitch. And base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. We all saw his hit yeah, hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StatCast is here with the answer. Lovely. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. And the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make a move. Zach Wheeler won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. A new arm into the game, the righty, Zach Efron. He last pitched two days ago. Number well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking Zach. about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Austin Riley digs in now. Two for nine so far in the series. And that's in there for strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Righty delivers on the ground, right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now Seems like he right got exactly what he was Adam. looking for right there. Ball. Take notes on that swing, kids. That was a really nice breaking ball on the low outside corner. And he did all you can do with that pit. He dropped the barrel down to it, stayed inside it with his hand. Runners on the move. High fly ball out of the left center field. Tracks it down to the out. And that is a big first out. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps he's going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And now it's going to be Dansby Swanson looking pretty good at the plate. He's four for ten in the series. First offering, misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. The next pitch misses. Now 2 0. Oh. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. The 2 0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two on, one out. Bounce to third. It's off his shoulder, eats him up. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Right. Got the top of the ball a little right. bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. One down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Travis Darno. In there and it's 0-1. Here comes a the pitch. There's a the strike. Down. 0-2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's out number two. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, blowing away with some more good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch.
Marcelo Zuna will hit next. That one's in there, 0 1. First and second, two down. Next pitch misses way outside. And a ball in two strikes. Stays alive. Two outs. They say he went. Slow to get out of the box. And he's tagged for the out. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves five and the Phillies nothing. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a blue. Back at Citizens Bank Park, John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. Set to We're get us started. Three. Bottom five, the Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. A wind in the pitch. They say it went. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. A wind in the pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. And now the lefty. And a ball nope. evens the count. Now all even up. And now it's filled up. And a 3-2. That one ripped. Squeezes it. One down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not sure if he could be in more of a group. He's really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And the 2 A foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch now right there at worst-case scenario. It's Rubber. weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted. And here is Trevor Story. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Next offering way off the plate. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Here's a 1-1. 
And another ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. And now for the Phillies, Garrett Stubbs. Rounded out as first time up. Catcher, Garrett Stubbs. First pitch, and he just misses. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. And there's the strike. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Line drive. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Philly strand one, it's 5 nothing. Welcome back, and now the DH, Orlando Arcia. Leading off to the break, the designated hitter, Orlando Arcia. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you've got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And he'll one. Bounce to the right. Segura gloves it. Tosses the first. And a quick out number one. The batter number one. Second baseman, Ozzy Albee. So the batting order turns over. Here is Ozzy Albee's up to hit. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. That hits the dirt. Ball one. And a pitch. In the air, right field, Castellanos settles underneath it, calls it in, and there's two away. Now batting, the first baseman, John Nagowski. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, John Nagowski, one for three. In there for strike one. The wide to kick the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Ripped on a line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work up there. Two outs, runner at first. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. Just missed. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside.
Right-handed reliever. And he pumps it a strike. I got to count two and two. Next offering misses down and away. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Nagowski off of first with two away. And a swing and a miss. That's out number three. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the six. It's the Braves five and the Phillies nothing. Bottom of the six. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Simone Muziati. For the Phillies, the center fielder. Free, back Simone. to work. Muziati. And the first Inside, pitch misses ball for ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. And a pitch. And that's through there for a strike. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The one two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now one away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get now to it. I think that slider really caught Brandon. way more of the plate than it was supposed Jordan. to. So the lineup flips over, digging in. Brandon Jordan. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Oh, and two now. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Out on the drop, third strike, two gone. Now batting, left fielder, Ryan Harper. And now here is Harper. That's in there for strike one. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Two down, nobody on. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. Just foul of third. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven. Now here is Austin Riley. Atlanta, the third baseman, Austin Riley. Right-hander back to work. Gets the call. 
And it's 0-1. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Connor Brogdon appears to be getting loose. Coonrod, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And he deals. Bounced up the middle. Segura over to pick it up. Oh, he throws it away. Well, that was a throw that just shouldn't have been made. They scored a single and an error, oh, so right. the official scorer the doesn't right believe a good throw Adam. would have gotten an out. And neither do I. You can't hear it from up here, but I wonder if anyone was telling him just to eat the throw. You know, that's where communication on the infield can sometimes help out a ton. Duvall in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Ryan leads off second with nobody out. Out to center. Muziati settles under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. The battle number seven. Dansby Swanson getting ready to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. On the ground to third. Gets it to first. And Swanson is set down. Now batting. Catcher. Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. Up the middle. On to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Braves five, and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the inning. Here's Chris Bryant now. Up for the Phillies, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Pitch. And there's the strike. you will one. In the air, right field, and that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two, and that's going to get into the corner. Into second easily with a leadoff double. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and put a good swing on it that time. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Up next so a man aboard. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. Segura. This one in the air right field. Duvall should have this one. He makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. In there safely. Now batting. The right fielder. Nick. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Kicks and fires. And that drops in for a strike. Well, I've noticed they've been pitching him hard inside. And the key is, if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, we'll be asking for a new baseball. Oh, and two now. Swing and a broken bat flare. There for the out. Runner scores from third. It's 
Stepping in the long ball threat, Reese Hoskins. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next pitch, not close, up high. Strike two. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Inning over. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Braves five and the Phillies one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Connor Brogdon hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. The left fielder, number 20, Marcelo The pitch. There's the strike. And the right-hander deals. Strike two. Oh. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Kicks and deals. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Orlando Arcia now, now at the plate. Hitter. Orlando. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. In there, and it's 0-1. Next pitch inside. One and one. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. One, two now. Swing and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part the of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Ozzy Albers. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Ozzy Albies next up for the Braves. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Righty to the plate. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. See. And now it's one and two. Stays the line. And 
the right he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One, two now. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Arcia over at second, one down. One wrapped foul. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you gotta love this battle. Just wondering who's gonna blink first. And a one-two again. The punch out there. And there are two down. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead to count, get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now the first baseman, John Nagowski. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And there's a foul ball. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a slow roller. Throws to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Braves strand one. They lead this one though, 5 1. The sidewalk toss from Houston to New York. Right your words of that talk from LA to Newport. Walking home from school to walk in the ball courts. And here's Back here in Philadelphia, here's Trevor Story. Leading up for the Phillies. That's shortstop, Trevor Story. The pitch. That one drifts inside. Action in the pen down there. Luke Jackson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Minter getting loose as well. And the 1 0. -oh. Rolled over to third. Riley collects. Zips it across. One up, one down. Now batting. Catcher. Garrett. Stubbs. Here's the speedy catcher, Garrett Stubbs. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The one up. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Up nice job of driving that pitch the other the way field. on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And at first, Simone Muziati stands in for the Phillies. In there for strike one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. At the belt and fires. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. To first. Might be two. Over to Swanson. He turns it. And it's a double play to end the inning. Great pull. It's the Braves five. And the Phillies one.
Your Sam Cooner gets the call from the pen. He pitched yesterday, Number and we'll see him once again. Sam Cooner. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now in for the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. The center field of the 13. Here comes a pitch. Ronald Acuna Jr. Check swing. He went. Strike one. Next offering upstairs. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. That one missed. The three one. Popped in the air, left side. Story under it. Balls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, third baseman, Austin Riley. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. And a foul ball, third base side. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. 0-2. Oh Stirring in the Phillies bullpen. Bailey Falter preparing to come on if needed. Right-hander kicks deals. Bounce to the left side. Bryant throw to first in time. Two up, two down. The right fielder, number 14. Adam Duvall. And now the right fielder, Adam Duvall. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 0-1. Ball one. Two outs. Two balls, two strikes. Stays alive. Next pitch is inside. And the count is filled up. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And a pitch. And there's ball four. The batter, number So seven. two down. Good now with the plate, Dansby Dan Swanson. Swanson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Duvall off of first with two away. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Mm -hmm. 
Check on the runner. Duvall back on a dive. This one to Bryant. And that one handled. They get the force. And that is that. One left for Atlanta. They're up 5-1. So Luke Jackson gets the call. Please. Trying to protect this now lead. For the Braves, number 77, Luke So digging Jackson. in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. He's a guy who does it all Liga with the lack of contact the in today's game. This the guy hits for contact, so he delivers Jordan. average, Jordan. but there's on base and slugging too. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And the 1-0. Hey. There's a strike. One and two here. Got him looking. And one gone. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark Perfect. knows it. It's Number a massive three. part of his arsenal. Perfect. And he'll throw it a lot. And in pretty much Perfect. any Perfect. count, any situation. And he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I'll tell you what. The effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Here's Harper in there. First pitch, not close. The 1 0. Swing and a miss. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Next yep, pitch is outside. Out. Two and one. Activity in the bullpen. Sean Newcomb getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Swings through that one. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Right, racing over to make the catch. Now batting, third baseman, Chris Ryan. Two outs, base is empty. And digging in for Philadelphia, Chris Bryant. Next pitch has popped up. He's got a ball game, and the Braves win the rubber match of this three-game series. This is a huge win. You take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum, but at home you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Schumann. Thanks for joining us.